All right, welcome to a very basic explanation of WeVideo and how the um, dashboard and basic editing works. So you can see here, I am in the dashboard of WeVideo. I've logged in with my Google account. So I'm viewing this full screen. You can see I'm adjusting my little preview screen here somewhat to get more or less in my view. I wanna be able to see all of my, my tracks here. Now, when you first open a project, you have, I think, a couple of video tracks and an audio track. You can always go in and add additional video tracks or audio tracks. Maybe you want uh, two audio tracks because you want one to be your talking and your voiceover, and you want the other track to be maybe some background music. And then with your video tracks, you can do the same thing. You can stack and add more tracks in here. Um, maybe you want one to be a background for like some green screening, Maybe you want to have your main video and then titles on top of there. So basically, the way you layer your videos is exactly the way you see it. What's on the top track will be on the top of your video, and what's at the bottom underneath layers will be underneath the other layers. So for your content for Wii Video, you have a couple of options. You can upload your own content, which is located in this media tab here, and it will show you stuff that you've uploaded. Um, one of the things I've done over time is I have um, connected my... Google Drive to uh, WeVideo. So if I click on that little upload uh, cloud there, you see drag and drop media here or import from social sites. So I've connected my Google Drive and I can upload directly from Google Drive. Uh, when you find stuff you like, it's as simple as clicking and dragging it in. You can stack stuff next to each other. Like I said, you can put layers underneath. If I wanted to do the reverse, I can move this down put that in front and then you can see how that layers over because that image of the transparent Spartan um, <laughs> is transparent, so I can see through it. Now, if I want to put some titles on here, I'm going to click on the text tab, and then I have all these options, and you can click and get little previews of what the different uh, titles look like. So I'm going to click the one I want and drag it down. It is going to go right on top of my video, wherever I put it. So if I want the video on its own, rather the title on its own, I need to drag that to the beginning, then drag my video right after it so that way when i preview it i will get the title and then my video will start hi my name is jen hey that's me okay so if i want to edit anything here in these timelines i have to double click when i double click i get whatever editing uh options that i have so in this case with the title it's pretty simple this particular title i can just choose the color of my text i can choose the type in what I wanted to say, and then I have some options as far as the actual um, uh, font. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna make this like big. All right, and you can always go and preview it to see what it's gonna look like as well. Once it looks good, save changes. So in your video, you have uh, editing options as well. So double click a video, and then you have lots of options here like uh, things with sound. Um, you can animate things, uh, Ken Burn sort of deal. This is your green screening to remove stuff. This is the speed. Then you can do some basic adjustments, brightness and contrast and stuff. What I like about this is that I can adjust my video if I'm recorded on a phone or something. I can either have my video fit to frame, which will crop it to make it fit, or I can have it um, automatically show everything, but sometimes I'll get little black bars on the side here. So these are just some basic editing things that you can do on the uh, video. Let's go to save changes. Now, the other fun thing about WeVideo is not only can you, you know, string together your own clips and your own pieces, but WeVideo for Education has this entire, let's make this large again, has this entire uh, essentials library of content. And it's as simple as typing in a topic, so outer space, and I will get all of these hits that are videos, images, audio. When I click audio, I get sound effects and I get music. So I might decide I would like an ambient night in space. So there we go. Um, you know what? I don't want this video. I'm going to delete that. Simple as, see when I hover over, delete. And I would really like some space videos instead. So I'm going to go to video here and I'm going to string together some video clips. Let's get rid of that one too. And now I'm going to create an epic space video just by linking together. Oh, I just got National Geographic up in here. 
so I can combine all of those things together to make a video if I want without actually having to create or film my own stuff. I can just kind of through curation go in and use what's already here. You could take this and put text over it um, as, I don't know, a student report or something of that sort. And uh, that's the most basic. There are some options for transitions. There are some options for uh, overlays and, and frames, but honestly, your widest variety, again, still in the star. Um, and you can just stack, do a lot of stuff with this. Um, when you're done, it's as simple as clicking finish, picking a title, deciding if you want to export as video with audio, audio only, if you'd like to do podcasting, you choose your size. You can send your videos directly to Google Drive, you can export it. Um, you can also have it save, if I don't click any of these, it'll just save to WeVideo itself in my video, in my queue. And then I can always go and check my finished videos and download it directly from WeVideo. So pretty cool.